I bet many of you are here to get details on today's giveaway prize announcement. Well, I'm not here to disappoint. So I'm here to tell you that it's not in this box, but it is in this one. Yes, this box could be yours if you are subscribed to this channel. This is the brown version of the Vision Line Vision CA1 Caboose. This box remains sealed to be opened by the winner. Unlike other Vision Line items, this one, for some reason, does not come in the iconic black box. These come in the normal orange Lionel box for some unknown reason. Rest assured, just like the other Vision Line items, the manual states Vision Line on the front the exact same way the others do. In addition to that, both of these cabooses can be found on the Vision Line pages of the 2023 Lionel Big Book with their listings in the iconic blue and black text seen here. So during the 1920s, Union Pacific had a tremendous variety of cabooses, all wooden. Union Pacific's common standard CA class caboose was first built in 1905 through 1907 and were system-wide standard designed for cabooses until 1913. These were built using steel strengthened wooden underframes. Next, there were 331 CA class cabooses built between 1907 and 1913. Cabooses built in 1907 and later uses steel frame components to strengthen a mostly wooden underframe, eliminating the need for truss rods. These steel components were in the form of two longitudinal I-beams at the end of each caboose, installed below wooden crossbearer beams adjacent to the car center line, and extended towards the car center beyond each truck bolster. The later CA Class 1 caboose that we have here was built between 1914 and 1924, with 380 cabooses having been built. <clears throat> there were no cabooses built after 1924 until the first steel cabooses arrived in 1942. Basically, the difference between the CA and the CA1 is that the CA cabooses had four windows and wooden underframes. The CA1s had three windows and steel underframes. Slopeside cupolas are not a spotting feature for either the CAA class or the CA1 class, as both classes had slope-sided cupolas. Due to rebuilds after wrecks, there's also a great variety of actual body detail differences, such as CA1s with four windows and CAs with three windows. Let's take a closer look at the CA1 model that we have here. All right, so here we are at the back of this absolutely beautiful caboose. Never thought I'd say that about a caboose, but this thing is, it looks great. It's so well detailed, it's so well built. Um, all the separately applied details are, are just phenomenal. They're super delicate, but uh, they look great. So here we have our separately, appri separately applied brake wheel, uh, grab irons, separately applied ladder. Uh, we have irons over here over the windows, protecting the glass. We have separately applied grab irons here on the sides. Uh, everything is just, again, absolutely so well detailed. Even on the top, the, uh, the chimney here, you can barely see, we'll see in the next frame here, separately applied rails and supports around the chimney. Um, they did such a great job. Uh, the, the lights look great. Again, the interior lighting, the, uh, the dialogue, uh, you know, a lot of people don't like the dialogue. I get it, that's totally fine, it's preference. Uh, if you're gonna pick up something like this, you kinda have to like it. Um, or you're just paying a lot of money for maybe the whistle, which is another great effect. Uh, let's switch over to take a look at the side. All right, here we are at the side of uh, UP2527, the CA1 caboose, which is nicely printed here, here in the Union Pacific. And there's another look at that grab iron, and then the one at the front. Uh, there's separately applied details at the top all the way around, around the cupola, and then separately applied supports, and this walkway which is separately applied plastic walkway. Um, but again, the, 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 the wood slats look beautiful. Uh, we got some uh, printed details here around the windows. Um, it just looks so good. The trucks look, look great. Um, the front looks just, just like the back. So there's, there's no reason to, to take a look at, uh, at the front side. Uh, but what we can do is listen to some of the dialogue since it's here. So let's go ahead and do that. There's the whistle. It is a it is a quillable whistle. Did you get the orders from the office? Got them. The usual speed restrictions up on the hill. They got a tie gang just out east of Springfield. And we got an extra pickup today there too. We might be on the wall this trip. Where are you going, Art? We're almost ready to go. I saw a hopper three cars up. Be back in a minute. The stove is low on coal. Air 
test is good. We got our orders in hand. Clear out. We only got 20 minutes to work, then we got to clear up for a westbound. Let's get to it. All right, so that was a single press of, uh, of the number two button on the, on the remote. Uh, that was one single dialogue. I've noticed in one of these, there seems like there's quite a bit of, uh, of dialogue sequences on this. Normally there's, you know, two or three uh, uh, for, you know, the rolling stock, but this one seems to have quite a bit, and, and they do mix it up. Sometimes it duplicates, you know, that happens. When you get the cab three remote, you'll be able to select, th select through all of these, which is nice. You can pick e each exact one that you want to play. That is, uh, that's going to be a nice perk. So let's try another one. Papers are in order. Yard boss says we're good down on the east end. Let's get rolling while I call for signals. I don't like the look of that load we're picking up. I agree. Double check those tie downs and put it back here next to the cabin so we can keep an eye on it. We're ready on the B end. We gotta get moving if we're gonna make schedule. All right, and uh, again, that was one press, uh, so we'll give it a, another shot here. Did you get the orders from the office? Got them. The usual speed restrictions up on the hill. They got a tie gang just out east of Springfield, and we got an extra pickup today there, too. We might be on the law this trip. Our test is good. We got our orders in hand. Clear out. Sit tight for now. We're still holding here for two westbounds. Drop the head three and put the pickups on the back end here. Those are staying on to the end. Got it. So that's the end of the, uh, the dialogue sequences that we're going to run through today. It seems like there's quite a few of them. Uh, I've only had one of them duplicate since, uh, since I've been doing this. So, and, and don't forget, today is the last day to uh, subscribe to take part in the subscriber giveaway. The, uh, after this video, the winner is going to be announced in my next video this Wednesday. That video is going to be covering my trip to the Chicagoland Lion L Rail Club today. And uh, that's, an, uh, that's a beautiful, absolutely beautiful club. They were very welcoming, very accommodating today, and I look forward to my membership there. Because it's such a beautiful layout there, until my bench work arrives, I'm going to do most of my filming from that club. Like I said, they were very accommodating, very welcoming, and it's just, it, it really is just a beautiful place to film in so many different situations. They have a setup that goes basically from the, the town that I live in, and the scenery in the backdrop goes all the way to, to the city of Chicago. It's, uh, again, it's just well done, and then the, the layout completely matches that scenery. So again, make sure you're subscribed, and after this giveaway, the more subscribers I have, the more giveaways I'll be able to do. So pass the word around to your friends and to your clubs, and I look forward to uh, announcing the winner on this Wednesday.
job. This reel is so bad it's making my joints break. Thank you. 